What is good everyone on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Weekly design content coming soon. And yeah, in today's video, I realized that a lot of you guys are new to Photoshop and you guys don't know how to get the images out of the background and like how to separate the two. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys the easiest method. Um, I'm running Photoshop um, 2021, but this works for like... I'm pretty sure it works for any version of Photoshop you may have because I was on 2020 for um, for a little while and it did work. So yeah, so right now we got the picture. Um, we're gonna use this picture of LeBron James. And the easiest method that you can do is if it's a really simple picture like this, it might work, it might not work, but um, you're gonna get the quick selection tool and you're gonna press select subject. And look at that. Like if you if you do this, it already damn near did a really good job, you know. And you might have some areas that you might want to clean up, but that that way literally takes um, two seconds. Like as you can see, another way that you can do is you can um, use the um, the quick selection tool, and you can like you can like quick select it yourself, like do stuff like that, you know and you know and then you can mess around with the adding and then the subtracting where you see how like it's like yeah do that you could do that you know and you can um you can combine it you can use the lasso tool and zoom in and you can um you can you can add it to like this And you could subtract the um, the missing areas right here with it. <clears throat> and like it, like it did it. You know, like obviously I missed some spots because I wasn't really doing it to the best of my abilities. But the main way that I usually use is um, the pen tool. And this, in my opinion, is the best way. Um, if something's very difficult to, um, let's say, um, get the get the background out, you wanna use the pen tool. And it's the most time consuming too, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And you basically just, um, you're basically gonna like make a point like at the, on the image that you want it that you want to um, cut out and you're just gonna you can like tap it and like make like um make a bunch of points or you can um you can like hold it and like adjust it like this you know um and a secret that you want to do is you want to get a little bit on the inside and that's because um if you don't you're gonna get like a bunch of um a bunch of the image that you don't actually want on there like um it's not gonna be cut out fully if you like try to do it exactly so you don't have to like follow the image like exactly you can like cut a little bit of the inside and obviously with all these methods um usually it's not gonna cut out an image like exactly like on the first try it's not gonna be perfect you're gonna always have to like clean it up but this is the one part of designing that I really don't like to do. Um, that's why, like, sometimes, like, on the tutorials, um, like, I don't really cut it out to the best of my abilities because it's just for, like, a tutorial, and I don't clean it up all the way, so, you know. But, like, if you're, like, doing, like, if you're actually going to sell the design or if you're doing it for a client, you're going to want to, like, make sure that it's, like, as clean as possible so that's how you uh, this so we're just gonna continue cutting out this image with the pen tool and if you mess up like let's say like um let's say you do some point like that just command z it and it'll bring you back to the point and you can like make a better point you know 
and remember hair is always the hardest you just gotta try your best thankfully um lebron's hair isn't really like that crazy but sometimes if you're cutting out like curls and stuff it gets really difficult and you have to like you have to like imagine it kind of you have to go like you gotta like do stuff like that you know like when you cut out hair sometimes not obviously like not like this but like And then once you're about to connect the dots, you just connect it and then you're going to press selection and you're going to press OK and then you're going to command J it to, um, to, to basically bring out that, that selected layer. But you can also um, combine methods because like right now we use that pen tool, right? But you can also use that... Um, like let's say you want to use the polygonal lasso tool to get rid of like this spot so you're going to put it on the minus and you can easily just do this and like when now when you selected that since you um since you got rid of that spot right here and you command J it, it's not gonna be there anymore. So yeah, you can combine methods when cutting out images. So yeah, hopefully this got this tutorial helped you guys. If you guys liked it, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, weekly content coming soon. We're on a grind, road to 1K. And yeah, peace out y'all.